Hello world, this is Jeffrey, JGB146 Blake with Team Level 5, coming to you today with a collaboration that I'm doing with True Champion Steven, and what we're doing is going through and reviewing all of the cards that we expect to be in the Unified Mind set, based on everything that we've read and seen at Poke Beach. We're using their site to go through the list, and we're going to do it back and forth, looking at one type per video. Today we will start with the grass type Pokemon. If you've already seen them, know everything about them, then just click in the doobly-doo and find the next type. We're going to start off today talking about grass types. Again, we're starting with GG End and looking at, oh, let's get this where you can see it, hmm. Care Care Blast. So, pre-evolution, 20 damage attack, we don't care. But nope. I wanted you to see the picture because it's cool. We'll talk about what that evolves into later, uh, but more relevant. That, that's the only grass type in GGN, by the way. So uh, now we're on to Sky Legend already, Sky Legend. Hmm. This guy's pretty dope, right? This is the Rallet and the Lowland Executor tag team. Ah, the Coconut Boy. Yes. So his first attack, like, I, I read this card initially, and I was just like, eh, whatever. And then I started thinking and started reading some of the evolution Pokemon that we're getting and, and that we have. And the first attack actually is pretty dope. Uh, it actually makes me kind of want to play this card, except, you know, the mm. fire weakness. But So what does it do? The first attack, zero energy cost, so you can use it as soon as he's out. You don't even have to find energy. And it will get you, for any, any one basic that you have out that's grass type, it'll let you go in, search your deck, and evolve it to the stage one. If it's a stage two line that you have in your deck, you get to go in, search your deck for the stage one, and for the stage two, evolve it all the way up, and suddenly, on turn two, you've already got your stage twos out into play. You could use this with, I mean, we'll go through and you know talk about some that are coming out, but if you so desired, you could use this with Meganium and instantly have Meganium out to like then instantly evolve any other stage twos that you have yeah. going on. Um, yeah, yeah, it's super good. Um, mm -hmm. But fire is still a thing, right? Fire is still a thing. Fire is still a dirty, dirty thing, which will not be the best thing ever. But we have a new uh, Grass Boy, which will be super fun to mess around with. Yep. Also, he's got a really neat Jix attack that I just wanted to briefly mention. Because I, I just love Jix attacks that just say, hey, your opponent's resources, they go away. So this is a kind of like um, a combination of Gardevoir Tag Team plus Hulkia GX. So it works like, it's called Tropical Arrow for triple green. If you have at least three more greens attached to it, shuffle all energy attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon back into their deck. This could be just super nice to do, like maybe against a fire deck to try and protect yourself, maybe for a turn definitely, or two. Uh, definitely. Because there will be there will, there will be some cards later on that you'll see that do accelerate grass energy, so that could be super neat to try and make happen. Yep. And then the the standard hat is 150 damage, and you get to heal yourself of 30 damage. So yeah, heal thankfully. 30 is pretty pretty minor, but it does help you tank a little bit more. Mm hmm. Uh, could set this up like a sell you sword deck and you've already got your healing built in. And then you still have your shamans from, from team up. You can heal some more if you wanted to make it like a super tank deck, but you're probably going to want to want some stage ones at least to have some synergy with that first attack. Yeah, definitely. Okay. The, the fact that that's free is just busted. Yes. Like straight up. That's the, that's, that's that's the best that's part the about it. Thing. Okay, free. so next we have Dwebble. Mm -hmm. And it's this little crab thing so here we have, we have something we have to talk about <laughs> first though right this is a pre-evolution mm -hmm. single color as attack for 10 we don't care we don't care we don't care it's real the only reason i'm going to talk about it for more than like a half second is because of this Moltres in the background right yeah so originally sky legend in japan came with a triple tag team of articuno zapdos and Moltres. But we don't get that in our mm -hmm. unified mindset. That is being moved to our um, Hidden Faith set that comes out in like mm -hmm. October. So yeah, there's, three months after, yeah. we know that for sure. We know that that triple tag team is moving. What we don't know is if the various cards that are in 
Japan's Sky Legend set that reference that due to their artwork are also moving. There's speculations exactly. that they are, and there's speculations that cards related to them are moving. So we may or may not get Dwebble and his evolution crystal. Yeah. We might not and, get uh, this these. will also happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this will, this will also happen for like various other cards within the, within the Sky Legend set. We won't really mention them that much. Like we'll be like, oh, hey, look, an Articuno, which means we probably won't get this. You know, it won't be anything more than that. Right. Uh, because well, then th- they were just speculation on speculation. You know what I mean? I don't want to be doing that all day. But uh, yeah, Correct. it could be true that these things might not actually be in the set. So don't really pay too much attention to these if they end up leaving. But I'm sure by now, they, but, but I'm sure by the time these these videos come out and like you guys finish watching them, we'll have actually like, maybe a completed set review for the or a completed set for the actual Unified Mind set. So maybe maybe we're just talking out of our butt and you guys already know these things. <laughs> but uh, hey, we're in the past. We don't know these things. Yeah, we're not future us yet. So the crustal. Moving this around so I can real quick read it before I show it to you. Alright. Mm-hmm, no, you're good. So, ability, he just takes 30 less damage. It's it's like the uh, Blastoise GX, right? Except he's yep. a you know, one prize attacker. And mm-hmm. then, for his attack, it's a grass energy and double colorless. We don't have double colorless, so triple colorless, or you do some energy acceleration shenanigans. We'll talk about some of that, some of those options, but... Anyway, um, then you flip coins. One coin gets you 40 extra damage. Two coins gets you 80 extra damage. Three coins gets you freaking 150 extra damage. Mm-hmm. So if you flip lots like of one. heads, you're going to be taking some, some knockouts with Crystal. Mm-hmm. This is pretty nice, you know. And, th- and there is some minor, again, acceleration for energy with Grass Pokemon and, of course, other Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, but generally speaking, though, Whenever I used to see grass and double colorless attack, I'm like, oh, hey, that's pretty reasonable. I can do that. But nowadays, when I'm like, oh, wait, hang on. We don't have double colorless anymore. That's a three-turn attack. Never mind. It's bad. <laughs> but no, it's actually still pretty good, I think, actually. If you just like, want to play like, like a neat little non-GX deck or something, there's no, it's like, it's like there's not no room for it, but, you know, it's not perfect. So the, the other thing, too, is, right... I, I think you're going to start seeing some decks that are not fire decks playing random fire energies and welder. To just yes, that's get true as well. That effect. That's a good point. That's a very good point. So, anyway, moving on. Fomantis, like Blissey, or even, I mean, even any deck that can make use of colorless energy. So I've actually I've seen that like wheezing that. welder deck. That wheezing welder deck is yeah. pretty dope actually. Yeah. And I do like that one. And that's that survives pretty much all post rotations. That's pretty cool. Shout out to Wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have Fomantis here. Uh, yes sir. It's it's pre revolution, that's all we really care about. Um, grass energy, ten damage, colors energy, um, I don't even remember what it does. It's heal thirty heal, from one of your 30. Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, heal thirty. So I mean, a little Sand. bit, a little bit okay, but not something you want to use. But it evolves into Lorantis, mm-hmm. and Lorantis does a couple cool things. So first off, one color of synergy, you're spreading ten damage everywhere. That's we decent. Go. That's decent. We lose flying flip. We we need. Yeah. We wish it had free retreat, but it doesn't. But uh, mm-hmm. one, one retreat, one energy, that works out, too. Uh, then we have a single grass energy attack. does 50 damage, and if your opponent... Is it your opponent or you? If this Pokemon. If this Pokemon has okay. like fire if, energy attached to it... Yeah, so... Deal, 30, deal, deal 50 more. So rainbow energy gets you both effects here. Wait, no, it doesn't. Does it? Oh uh, no no! It, it it can only apply one energy at a time, so yeah. it, it wouldn't so count Rainbow as two different energy cards. So you'd have no, to have. So, uh, but if you were doing that the, thing where you played Welder, exactly that we were just talking about how there could be some natural synergy here. Basically, like if you played like Welder during the same turn, you could get a hundred damage out of nowhere, pretty much on like turn two of the game, yep. which isn't like awful. Plus, there's uh, some neat things that are actually kind of weak to Grass as we as we as we're gonna talk about those things later, um, and, st- and and this could be like a neat little tech in like Fire decks try and deal with water Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's pretty cool. 
So moving on. Bon Sweet. 10 damage, 20 damage. We don't care, it's pre evolution. Mm-hmm. And we have Steeny. So mm-hmm. we pretty much don't care here either. Here either. But mm-hmm. it's a uh, double colorless slash one welder attack. And you get 30 times the number of heads you get off of two coin flips. So it's either 0, 30, or 60. AKA, mm-hmm. it's bad. And then. Mm-hmm. Throw on a grass energy on top of that, and you just are guaranteed that you flipped heads, basically. It's 60 damage. Also... And, like, 90 HP is pretty nice. Yeah, 90, 90 HP is, is decent in a meta that's not all about fire, which is, unfortunately, may not mm-hmm. be the meta that we're The world in. we live in. However, stage two is Serena. And remember, we got the tag team. We can get this, bo- right. this, this bur- boy, this, this lady, uh, out... <laughs> Immediately, yeah, and uh, she's pretty neat. She has the ability to attach a grass energy from your discard to your active, um, just like that. It's like a a Malamar, except it goes straight up to your active. You don't have to do getting it to the bench shenanigans. So, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, and it does stacks so if you have multiple Serenas in play, similar to Malamar, you can attach like three energies or two energies, depending on how many Serenas you actually have in play. Super yes, dope. yes, sir. All right, that is our last Grass Pokemon in Sky Legends, but we still have Miracle Twins to look at. We've got some over here too. Yes. We've got Yanma, which again, pre evolution. One colors does 10, two colors does 20, 70 HP is, is decent. And then we've got Yon Mega. Right? Yeah. Two colors for 50. That's decent. Not great. And three colorless. So triple acceleration oh, energy will work. Yes. Uh, you do 100 damage. And that's decent. Um, you have to discard the energy, which makes it a little worse. If you're using but, triple. Like, you lose the energy anyway. Yeah, if, if you're using the triple acceleration energy, then. I mean, that happens anyway. But in the end, I don't think this will see a ton of play. Like, yes, yeah. it's a it's a single prizer that can hit for 100, but we have single prizers that can do a lot better than just hit for 100. Already. And they, and they discard their and, Yeah, so, so yeah, I, I think it's decent, but it's probably not going to see a ton of play. Okay. Mm-hmm. Moving on, we've got Celebi, which does Celebi things. <laughs> so... First off, time shenanigans. For yeah, <laughs> for a single grass energy, we are devolving. I think it was any Pokemon on our opponent's field. Oh, so no. it's, it's one of your one opponents of evolved your... Pokemon. Yeah, one, well. one of your opponents evolved Pokemon by having them shuffle the highest stage of evolution card on it into your opponent's deck. So basically, you yeah. just pick an evolution and play whatever the highest one is, and you shuffle it back into your opponent's deck with time spiral for one single grass energy. And then the other attack is called Psycho Trip, 20 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Also one grass energy. Super interesting, you know, doing Celebi stuff. Uh, it's kind of a lot better, I think, actually, than the Celebi that we have from Ultra Prism, I think is when it came out, or whatever set it was in, uh, that kind of, like, devolved all Pokemon in play. No, that, it, just evolved, it just evolved yours, though. Is it just yours? Yeah. The, the because you wanted to evolve your opponent's Pokemon, nope. too. Nope. Oh, that's even worse then. This is really good. The, well, the, it depends on how evolution centric things get. This is really good if evolution becomes big, like we're sort of thinking it might because things slow down, but it's. Mm-hmm. And it gets that much even more powerful because of the lack of Pokemon search. So once your opponent's exhausted some resources searching out yeah, their yeah, stuff, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Then it's yeah. like, oh, well, it's back in your deck now, good luck. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, the, the twenty damage attack. Yeah, it's confusion whatever. is great, but whatever, we don't care. Fusion's cool. Fusion is, is, is actually kind of really dope about that, but it's whatever. Well, the the yeah. I mean, so I, I will note that we we lose some some of our switching cards, which makes status conditions more relevant. Mm-hmm. But come up in just a still, bit, yeah. Be ready for that. In fact, we have a Shroomish. 
basically just there as a pre evolution, but single grass energy makes your opponent poison. Mm -hmm. More status conditions. Uh, we won't talk about what the Shroom has evolved into for a little bit because it's a fighting type, but um, yeah, it uses two grass it energy. It evolves in. And spoiler alert, it's a, it's a Breloom, in case you didn't know what Shroom is. <laughs> Uh, then we've got the first Swaddle. 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 Like, I, you know, like, I, like I know Swaddle words. Baby. Yeah, so, <laughs> so this guy's probably the one that I think I would end up playing. Um, the first one? The Sprout one? Yeah. I, th I think so, because, well, so his his first attack here with all the, the Japanese text basically says, <laughs> search your deck for two more Swaddles, put them on your bench. That's pretty good. So my argument is for this. For, I'd like the second one. The next one we're gonna talk about the uh, the, the second Swaddle with the ability Curl of the Leaves because he has an ability that says any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by ten, and then Surprise Attack is twenty damage to the point of heads attack or something. They have the same amount of HP, but technically the Curl of Leaves one Curl of Leaves one has sixty HP because of its ability. And to me, always having more HP is a priority when it comes to these lower stage Pokemon because what's important is that, is that they evolve into their other Pokemon. Because, spoiler alert, Levani isn't really an attacker, it's more of a support Pokemon. And it's more of a thing that you probably play in an Alolan Executor, Rowlet deck, or some kind of just kind of bulky grass deck. It's basically the point of you're playing this card. So, to me, the Swaddle that reduces damage pays more homage to what the deck wants to do. Also, the Sprout Swaddle, I don't see myself playing more than two or three copies of Swaddle anyway. And if I'm attacking with my only copy of Swaddle for an energy and committing that energy to something, that, something that's just going to die, I'm kind of not okay with that. <laughs> but I do agree with you, searching for Pokemon's a big deal and it's really nice. Yeah, I, I can see your point, dude. Again, it comes down to what, you know, what archetypes come out. Because if there is a decent amount of spread, then we're going to have some issues with the other guy, and this guy reduces spread damage to nothing, essentially, or close to nothing, and that's that's good. You can take like two more hits than you probably were supposed to. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. And either way, we evolve into a Swadloon, which has the same ability, except it reduces damage by 30. So, in Not effect, 10, he has... Yeah. 100 HP and spread doesn't touch him. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. Then we evolve all the way up to Levani. And Levani has a similar ability, right? He reduces damage taken mm -hmm. this time by 40. But it's not just to himself now. Once you get up to Levani, he's reducing damage to all your grass Pokemon. And that's where we get into dope shenanigans, right? Because, like, you become the tankiest, like, Pokemon in the game, you know? Uh, imagine, like, a Cellsword deck coming out and you, like, pop one of these in play. Just as an example, that thing is not dying in two hits or three hits. It's just this forever living. So, I definitely think there might, there's some space for a tanky grass archetype. Mm -hmm. in standard post-rotation, but the bad news bears is that it has the biggest counter in the history of the world called Fire Pokemon. So until there's something that gets rid of your weakness, or something consistent that gets rid of your weakness, uh, it's, it's not going to see the, the light of day too much, but it's it's a, it can it can exist. It exists. The archetype exists. And that's why it matters, right? Yeah, it exists. And, I mean, there's some pretty splashable counters to Fire that we'll talk about later. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you might true, that is true. you might mix in some of those with this to to really pull things off, but to try and help you out. We'll we'll get there when we get there. It's not quite For yet. Sure. So we've got a couple more grass Pokemon to talk about, and then we'll be uh, ready. Some to pretty move dope on. ones. So we've got Fungus. It's a pre-evolution to a Mungus. Uh, the important one. bit though is that it does have the spore attack. Spore oh, you're right. That is important. On it. That is important. That's a big deal. Not because of what the attack does. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, it's... putting one to sleep is, is, is a meme and it's fun, but that's not the point. Yeah. The point is Amoongus. Yeah. Put it to sleep. But, yeah, Amoongus says that if you put... If you place down onto your bench a Pokemon with the Spore attack, then your opponent is automatically put to sleep and poisoned. So, that's pretty cool. The attack here for... Uh, 
two colorless energy, does 20 damage, and uh, 70 more if your opponent's active is poisoned, which yeah. you just play down your, your spore and you're doing 90 plus their poison, so that means it's 100. Uh, not too bad for stage one. Uh, that leaves them then asleep and poison further on. Real quick, I just want to point out for for expanded, uh, this can get really kind of stupid because in expanded you have double cost energy, you have Surviper, you have Rank City, so and you have Choice Fan again. So what you can do is actually if you do like four Survivors, a Vir a, Vir um, a Burbank City, and a Choice Fan, Venom Shock does 180 damage essentially to a, uh, to your opponent's active Pokemon, uh, which is kind of dope. Yep. So just, just putting that in the universe. It can happen to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It expanded I was, I was, definitely, I definitely does does oh, more okay. things here. Um, yeah. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the grass Pokemon video, and we'll be back real quick. For those of you watching on YouTube, real quick, maybe in a day or two, but real quick <laughs> with <laughs> our next type. Yep, it'll be a uh, fire.